Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The U.S. Secret Service investigates a variety of cyber-related criminal activities, including the illicit use of digital assets through its global network of 42 cyber fraud task forces. Significant aspects of this illicit activity involve unlicensed money transmitting businesses, the illicit structuring of transactions, and other criminal activity against organizations that are not federally insured financial institutions, but are financial institutions as defined under the Bank Secrecy Act. That's why I was proud to introduce the Combating Money Laundering and Cyber Crime Act, along with my colleagues, Mr. Meeks, Mr. Nunn, and Ms. Dean to harmonize criminal and banking statutes and clarify the Secret Service's investigative authority over crimes related to illicit digital asset transactions. This legislation also expands the sunset by five years on the reporting requirement of FinCEN relating to benefits realized by law enforcement agencies from partnering with financial institutions among other purposes. Uh, finally, it extends the sunset as I said before, by five years of a provision of the International Financial Institutions Act, which instructs the director of IMF to use the voice and vote of the United States to support the increased use of administrative budget of the fund for technical assistance that strengthens the capacity of members of the fund to prevent money laundering and the financing of terrorism. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this bipartisan bill, and I yield back.